Okay, for tonight's episode, we're going to be creating leaves off of a branch. So I have um, created a branch with its alpha. I add it to the result view. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. We are also going to add <coughs> another layer which is going to be just the alpha of it because this is going to be generating the particles and of course we'll need to parent the uh, main texture to the particle generator now we're going to hide this uh, the particle generator and I'm going to turn the region all lines to squares to squares and we're going to be generating 1000 particles per frame and I'm going to keep their lifetime to 100 frames so if I press play uh, let's make the size to 150 pixels as well uh, so we need to uh, assign a texture to them which I also have prepared here keep in mind that the uh, root of the leaf sits at the middle of the square because when we apply it as a diffuse map to the uh, particles since these are uh, square particles the particles are going to be generated right at their roots <coughs> So when we size them, they're going to be scaling from their pivot point. Also, if we want to add some variation, we can add a rotational variation. And each frame we're going to, oops, let's turn down the speed to zero because we want them to be static. We've created a branch full of leaves. But I don't want the leaves to be generated over here. So here is a map. This map has only these uh, points for uh, particle generation. Okay. So when we press play, we're going to see particles generated only on the places we have assigned them like this. Now, we can add a little variance to them. But since we don't want to see particles popping on, we could just go ahead and auto key this to, let's say, 75,000 particles. And on the next, we're going to have zero particles. So, here we are. When we orbit it, you can see that the uh, leaves are turning towards the camera because that's the property of the square particles but you can use it to your advantage or it might become disadvantages it all depends on you knowing the uh, limitations of the system now if we want to grow these particles normally moving them here makes them grow but uh, once they're generated, their size is set because you can't use this parameter to modify their sizes during their lifetime. What we can do to modify their sizes is uh, we can add a function to them. But this is even going to be enough for some of the applications. Um, So let's go ahead and add a particle animator. Now, it needs to be the function. Okay. So I have to explain what, uh, how to animate this. So when a particle is generated, it has a lifetime of 
a set value. So if it's going to live for 100 uh, frames, its lifetime parameter will report back as 100. But each single particle has another function that can be recalled per particle and that's called lifetime i. So whenever a single particle is generated, its lifetime i uh, parameter starts at 1 at birth and it goes down to 0 when it dies. For example, if its lifetime is equal to 100 frames at birth, at frame 20, let's say, okay, 20, if the particle is generated at frame 20, its lifetime i function is going to give back a value of 1. And if its lifetime is 100, then on frame 120, its lifetime i parameter is going to be 0. So if we would use this um, function, or rather uh, a parameter that we can call per particle, we're going to uh, use this lifetime i. Oh, I forgot to put the i here. So, since lifetime i goes from 1 to 0, I'm just going to invert it because I want its value to be uh, from 0 to 1. So, I say 1 minus lifetime i. So, during its uh, lifetime, this lifetime minus 1 minus lifetime i parenthesis is going to give me a value between 0 and 1. And I multiply that by 100. So this whole thing is going to give me a value of 0 to 100. So here I'm going to use a function called smooth step. The smooth step has a parameters called minimum, maximum, and whatever function I'm checking the value of. Check value. So this is going to give me, this function is going to give me 0 if this checked value is uh, smaller than the minimum. And it's going to give me a 1 if it's bigger than the maximum. So this function in parentheses, if I uh, compare this to 20 as the minimum value and 50 as the maximum value, and if the lifetime of the particle is 100, then this function here is going to give me a curve that stays at, at 0 until frame 20, then moves up to its uh, maximum value 1 on frame 50. And if I multiply this with another value, it's for example, if I make this equal to size and multiply this by, uh, I don't know, at the moment 150. And before frame 20, this smooth step is going to give me 0. So 150 times 0 is 0. Size is going to be equal to 0. If it's between 20 and 50, it's going to give me a value between 0 and 1. And at, at 50, at frame 50, it's going to give me a value of 1. So the size is going to be 150 times 1, which is going to be 150. And between frames 20 and 50, it's going to give me a scaling up animation, a Hermite curve. So here is that um, function, okay? 150 times smooth step, 20, comma, 50, comma, 1 minus lifetime i times 100, okay? So I'm going to enter that here. And let's see what we're getting at. Okay. That's very nice. We could also, since we are using this alpha or mat 
to generate the particles, we can use a garbage map, garbage mask, sorry, uh, to drive this generation. So we're going to generate the particles through this mat, which is animated, and this is going to give us an animation that makes the leaves grow at at these uh, points in the screen. So when we play it, didn't work. Happened. Okay, yes, I found the culprit. It's here. We generated 75,000 particles on the first frame. So I'm going to uh, reset this parameter. Reset channel to its default, default value. So we're going to be creating 1,000 particles per frame or 2,000 particles per frame. Because otherwise, it's going to generate the particles on frame 1 and then not generate any other particles. So now, if we press play, we should see, yay, particles growing everywhere and starting from the tip of the branch. So if we make this like 20,000. Of course, you can go in and change these 20 and 50 to min speed and max speed and use these as your variables to drive this animation so now you see that they're generated much faster or their growth is much faster because they start on uh, they are grown on uh, between 10 frames It doesn't exactly start on frame uh, one to grow because we're also using this mat to generate the particles. Remember, keep in mind that this is also uh, deciding where the particles grow. So we could go and say zero to 30. It's going to be much slower, the growth, and it might look natural as well. But these particles are all of the same size. To introduce a variable <coughs> size depending on the particle is a little bit hard, but uh, it's a complicated trick. But there is a, a parameter which we don't usually uh, put the put the effects or use. It is this mass uh, parameter here. So if we say mass is 150 and the variation is going to be 50, so it creates a mass of 100, between 100 and 200 uh, per particle. And we can use, instead of 150, we can use mass here. So we're going to see different sizes per particles. We can go and change this to 100 and see that the variation is much bigger here. Okay, so that's cover, that covers our uh, tutorial for today. Good night.